Hello, today I will be showing you how to perform a Wi-Fi recovery on the MoFi 5500 router. Recovery is needed if your router does not boot up. You can tell by putting your power on and looking at the power light as it should be flashing for roughly around one to one and a half minutes and then go solid. There are two different types of recoveries that can be done, one being boot recovery and the other being Wi-Fi recovery. The boot recovery is a bit more complicated since you do need an ethernet port on your PC. And as we know, many PCs these days do not come with an ethernet port. With the Wi-Fi recovery method, you can recover the router off of Wi-Fi and that is what I will be showing you today. So what we're first going to do is make sure we are connected to a working Wi-Fi or network. So I'm connected. I'm going to open up Firefox and go to the MoFi website. So mofinetwork.com. I want to download my latest firmware for my router. So I will click on support. Then download and updates. Since I have the 5500 router, I will click on MoFi 5500 download. And I'm going to scroll down to click here to save firmware 1.0.6. As of right now, this is my updated firmware and this is the latest firmware that I'll be downloading onto my router. Keep in mind that this is constantly being updated so you will have a different firmware to download. Okay, it has been downloaded. I'm just going to double check and make sure. Okay, so MoFi 5500 from our 1.0.6, that is correct. You can close off these tabs. Right now, I'm going to put my router in Wi-Fi recovery mode and I will insert a clip right here to show you how you can do it. So I'm just here to show you guys a quick demonstration on how to put the MoFi 5500 router into Wi-Fi recovery mode. So what you're going to want to do is turn the router around and you will see a reset button right here. You're going to take something small that you can push the reset button with and while you hold it in at the same time we will take the power to power on the router and while you're holding it down these lights will start flashing and we have two different recovery modes. We have the first one, which is boot recovery, and the second one, which is Wi-Fi recovery. If I were to release the pin, the reset button right now, then the router will be put into boot recovery, which is the first light. But we want to wait until the second light starts flashing. So now we can release, and now it is in Wi-Fi recovery. Okay, my Wi-Fi recovery mode has been done. My power light is now solid. So now you will look in your Wi-Fi settings for MoFi recovery and it would be dash and a number. Keep in mind that this may not come up all the time as you may need to exit out the Wi-Fi settings and go back in as it needs to be refreshed. So I will connect to that right now. Okay, now that my router is still in Wi-Fi recovery mode, I'm connected to it. I'm going to open up Firefox once again, and I'm going to enter the MoFi default gateway, which is 192.168.10.1. Okay, this page should come up. It should be MoFi network recovery. I'm going to click on browse and select the firmware that I just downloaded. So MoFi 1.0.6 standard version, and then flash image. And then I'm going to click on proceed and this will download the firmware onto my router. Okay, the flashing has been done. Now that my two Wi-Fi lights and power light are now solid, 
I'm just going to refresh the page. I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi settings and select the MoFi Network 784C. It is not in Wi-Fi recovery mode anymore, so it's just going to say MoFi Network dash your numbers. So I'm going to connect to that. Now that I'm connected to my router, I'm going to refresh my page of the MoFi default gateway. Type in the password admin A D M I N. I'm going to ensure that the correct and latest firmware is downloaded onto my router. So 1.0.6, that's correct. And to end it off, I'm just going to do a factory default. So I'm going to go back to basic, bottom left system, factory default, and perform reset. So my router will be doing a reboot and I will come back once it's done. Okay, after doing the factory default, my two Wi-Fi and power lights are back to solid. So I will just refresh this page and log back in with the password ADMIN. And that's it. Just ensure you have your correct firmware again. And then that is how you do the MoFi Wi-Fi recovery on the 5500 router. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.